No one can escape the climate crisis. It will affect all of us. But those who have contributed least to climate breakdown are impacted first and worst. deaths from weather-related disasters occur in developing countries. And yet, the 50 least developed nations contribute less than 1% to global carbon emissions. To put quite simply, those who have contributed least to climate change are the ones who are suffering the most. As ecosystems and traditional ways of life collapse, and as conflict and violence escalate over dwindling resources, millions of people are having to leave their homes behind. Up to 1.2 billion people are at risk of displacement by 2050. Climate change is definitely a human rights issue because it's a problem caused by the rich and the people who will suffer are the poor. And that is a moral issue. That is something that is not right. To ensure a just and fair transition to a sustainable future, we urgently need new legally binding international agreements to protect climate refugees. Poorer nations must be supported with investment and renewable technology transfers. And we have to centre the voices and expertise of indigenous communities in every decision. We have to ramp up compensation to the poor and vulnerable people of this planet who have suffered unthinkable losses as a result of climate change that they have contributed to in no way at all. We can create a fairer future for both people and planet.